very um, bizarre person. And uh, yeah, I love I love business. I love um, building businesses. So it's one of the reasons why um, right now I'm partnered up with um, Revision Studio, which I'm currently running errands for, right? As um, and do my best to you know lead design where possible, lead um, direction in terms of like. Uh, how we scale um, as a design studio, and um, yeah, point all my experience into the business. Um, so yeah, that's that's me in a nutshell, really. Um, I'm just a uh, my name is Collins, and today we would be designing with Reno. Uh, this would like this is my first design with me session um, outside of a company, so I, I'm quite nervous and um, I'm tensed. Um, I'm not a badass designer like the ones you have out there in public. Right, they all influencers. So please, please, um, let's let's try to enjoy the session, and um, feel free to drop me feedback, questions, um, and anything um, along the way. I'll try my voice. I'll try my best to be vocal and um, explain as much as my process and what I'm doing. And um, yeah, let's let's have fun. All right. Reno UI as the um, as a design system um, library, right uh, for designers. So for those who don't know how to navigate Reno, um, this is what you do, right? Um, for the very beginning, you you can find Reno either on the landing page or you can find Reno on Figma community, right? So in this sense, uh, I'm already sharing my uh, Figma, so I don't have to um, have to reshare again. So I'll just go to um, I'll just type Reina UI and it's the first thing that comes up, right? So click on it and open in Figma. Right now we have 5.7k users, so that's that's cool. Thank you all for for using Reina. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So when you do that, you have access to Reina. So one thing about design systems, I'm building with like public design systems. Um, or even if you say paid one, a private one, one thing to note is you you always want to um, make sure you have a goal in mind, right? So Reina is meant to be a, um, think of it like an assistant, right? To help you with um, components, right? And assets that will help you design faster. So it doesn't necessarily mean you have to follow Reina, right? to um, to the detail of how the color system works and everything but in this case we will try i will try my best to follow reina's design system right because um, i want to be able to show you guys what you can do with reina's colors typography um and a bunch of other things right so um yeah no need for me to go through um the components and whatnot so i'm pretty sure you guys already have um, an idea of how they work so to kick it off let me just create a new page um so i'll get started so um let's say i'm building um what would we call this so let's yeah let's do a fintech dashboard all right all right um we're doing fintech today let's see um so yeah for this mm, mm, mm. i am going to kick off with i'm going to kick off with um uh, Sorry, someone trying to say something um, among me. Okay. Um, hello. Okay. All right then. So um, yeah. So let's kick up. So what is designing something on fintech, right? Fintech dashboard, something um quite simple that basically you know we use in the industry. So yeah. To kick off, I'm going to get a frame. Um, my screen size is uh, MacBook Pro 16, so I'm going to use that. Um, ideally, you would want to use something that you know um, that the public or the masses uses, right? Depending on the user or whatever you're building for, right? So you want to think about responsiveness in this case. But for me, I'm going with Pro 16 because that's the size of my of my um, my uh, laptop. Um, so before I jump right straight into designing, right, everybody has their processes, right? So whatever you're building for, I'm pretty sure by at this stage you have maybe, um, if you're wearing the hat of like coders, oh, you have a brief, right, or you're trying to design something random, right? So 
for me um i first of all would like to like you know just do a quick rough sketch right of what i have in mind to design or what i want to see right for myself so um in this case let's see for a fintech dashboard um let's go with the, with the normal uh yeah let's go with the normal um side navigation right then we could do then let's have probably something up top uh like text um so yep time best be fast so yeah let's have text there and let's probably have like a button uh somewhere so the reason i'm doing this is uh it's basically just to help me have like a mental um you know um note of what i want to design so i'm not designing multiple iterations and trying to waste time right let's because i'm running with uh i'm running on time on um on a uh, timeline here so which is two hours right to so whoop out something quickly so um i'm guessing my time started like 8 20 so by 10 20 i should be done because i have another call by 10 30. um all right so we have a button here probably with like um send money or something right and then let's say um underneath here we would have like maybe um cards to represent like matrix right like balances right so let's assume um we are going with the normal uh dashboard field everybody would have right uh because this is like the go to for everybody in the industry which is not bad uh just sometimes can get boring right so with that let's see um, what else could we have what else could we have let's have um let's probably have uh, all right so let's say we have an asset of cards maybe instead of having them in cards as well we could just have them in one um entire section long um section with maybe cards um in a container and this time we could have uh would have things like maybe um savings and uh let's say it just let's say we're designing maybe like a piggy vest or so right but for web um uh, just assuming right then um we could have uh next one would be let's say we have a table right of like maybe recent transactions right and we would just have like a bunch of uh Hmm. yeah i think i think this works yeah so yeah uh so this is what we're basically designing right uh you guys are still here now awesome uh thumbs up all right um all right so with this um so let's assume we have done like our um inspiration research right um like oh let's have an idea of like maybe the style i want to design with right so there's no time for me to start doing mood bodies right so i'm just going to just rough it anything that comes outside people take it like that um shadow don't shade me and don't go and drag me out and into that uh, this guy don't cook no sense right this is you know on the spot so um all right so let's make it happen all right, so when designing with this, um, with Reina, um I'm grateful for the fact that they have a bunch of these um, components, right, laid out and spelled out, right? So it's easier for you to just find what you're looking for. So in this sense, I would, you know, start looking for what I need, right, um, in the component section. But I would rather go through assets most of the time because it's, like, quite easier. So through assets, I could just search for, let's start with the navigation, right? So I'd rather search for nav, um all oh right side sidebar i think oh yeah so this sidebar so i can just easily drag and drop right and just put it in here just adjust right it's what i have and then um yeah i think that fits so let me adjust my screen size a bit all right so adjusting my screen size um so we have a side now then uh let's see let's have something up top mm. do they have anything on headers I can use 
Uh, let me see. What is this? Uh, no, I can't use this one. This is a website data. But in this case, I could detach use your design system, right? So feel free to do what you wish with it. So I could detach and just um, place where I need. Uh, so let's take out these other sections. So let's see, this is our hello. Welcome. Um, let's increase the size. Uh, that looks too small. Probably to like maybe 24, I guess. Yeah. So. Uh, all right. Have structure. Mm, what else? Cards. There's a matrix. All right, so that matrix cards, great. So I could probably put matrix cards in here for me to get a few. Um, so yeah, let's put this in auto layout for now. Uh, uh, put it on auto and scale it. Uh, what else? Uh, let's create a few. Uh, let's make it few so I could spread out. Let's give it like 24, for instance. Uh, sorry, let's give it 24 sizing. Uh, so we have that. Then, so what I'm doing now, I'm just doing um, building blocks. So this is not the UI I'm going with. I'm just trying to. So I have what I want in low fidelity, right? So this is me trying to like build like a rough wireframe session of like how I want it to look like. So um, what else? What else? What else? Let's see. Hmm. More. I'm not feeling this. This one I'm explaining and designing. And this thing, they are, this thing is just for me. Having to do this at work and then going to do this again. Yeah. Let me see. Let me turn on my camera so you guys can see my face. Uh. Looking rough. I'm not in my elements. So, in case there's any baby that's liking me, I'm sorry. Uh, all right, all right, back, back to it. So my monitor is this way, so that's why my face is looking this way. Uh, you people will be fine. Uh, all right, so other building blocks. Let's see. We uh, so this is the other set. So this is a auto layout. So let's maybe add um, sizing of sixteen. Uh, let's give it a, a different shade. So for this, you can just search instead of having to scroll. Um, let's give this a different yeah shade of this. Let's add color radius to it. Let's say maybe eight for now. Um, yeah, um, not bad, but not a fan yet. Uh, so for tables, uh, start building tables. Um, so yeah, in this case. Um, so Rain has done um, a good job in giving a um, giving you some set of templates, right, to help you do some building blocks, right. So in this case, I'm not trying to use the templates um, to do my UI, but it will make life easier for me, right. So what I would do then is I would navigate to one of the template sections. Let's say I'm navigating to Solar, for instance, and I can grab um, the tables, one of the tables in here that's already built. So just to get me a feel of what I want. Uh, just copy for now, uh, and then um, yeah, place it in here and adjust the bits. Uh, yeah, I have my wireframe, right? But I promise you, this is not going to be the end. This is like V1, right? This is giving you building blocks. So you do this because you want to be able to break that creative um, block, right? Most times, because I've not done any like maybe I've not fed my eyes with some uh, visual um, food. So I might not have an idea of like maybe what I want to do, right? But in most cases, maybe the there is a branding, right? I want to go with, right, for a product. In this case, it's Rayna. So I know I'm going to use red. I know I'm going to use gray. I know I'm going to use um, all of these components in here, right? So I'm working with a company's design system and I need to ship out the company's the UI style. So let's say this V1 now, right, is um, what the product currently looks like and I want to refresh it. Right. And this is supposed to be like a fintech product. Maybe this is supposed to be my balance, right? My um, and this is supposed to be wallets, different wallets or something. And this is supposed to be maybe mutual funds or whatnot. 
Um, so in order to do that, I want to, you know, start um, uh, doing a lot of, you know, different um, iterations for it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start trying to be a perfectionist. I do not advise it, but uh, yeah, that's me. So let's go. So let's duplicate. Sorry. Um, just give me a moment, please. Let me send um, a message to this person that I am unavailable. Uh, sorry, there's one minute meeting. Can I call you back? Um, all right, so yeah, and uh, feel free to also unmute your mic from time to time if you have any ideas. Um, there's no guarantee I will use your idea, Shab, but it's let's make it interactive. So feel free to unmute your mic anytime. Just to me, play, um, say things. I see Kingsley on the call. Yeah, what did you do for you? Um, all right. Well, yeah. Um, so let's start. Mm. What do I do here? What do I do? What do I do? All right. I know I don't want to use this traditional style. So let me switch. They have um, variations. So if you see on the components um, on the um, editor's panel, you can see they have variants, right? For the nav bar. Um, don't worry, for V2, there'll be other um, variants, but for now, they just have two variants. So the idea of this is a building block for you to um, design with. So I'm choosing the second variant, which is this. I would prefer having my, um, prefer having my, what do you call this thing? Yeah, the menu up top, right? For things like logouts, uh, maybe account switching or um, other things. Um, so in this case, let's start designing. Um, let's see. What do I have here? Mm, so let's see. Mm, I want to do this. This will be dashboard. Uh, this could be this transaction here. Um, how could this be? Well, it's a payment. There's a payment. Mm, like you want to like send money and stuff. Um, is the wallets, right? Wallets or sub accounts? Yeah, this is a sub account. Uh, this could be. Mm, I think it's still fine. I want to break it down into sections. Uh, so let's let's take this out. Take out main five, and uh, let's go to the next one. Let's take out this section. The title. I don't want to use a title, so this could be um let's let's do some so since we mentioned like saving and invest um investment or um uh, like wallet or something, uh let's do save how to earn um so in this case um yeah it, a normal fintech, you know, platform you could send money, receive money, put money aside, you know, invest, um, receive funds, and then save them. Then this one could be um, invest. Uh, uh, this one could be probably referrals or referrals again. Yeah, this is referrals again. Uh, yeah, I think this should be fine. So let's remove the other sections. Uh, let's take the menu four and menu five out. Then let's see underneath. Uh, let's take out this title and let's do settings. Um, let's do help instead. Then settings underneath. Because um, in most cases, you find most people trying to reach out to help first before going to settings. I don't know why or users um all right so this is been good let's put some icons in mm. but this let's use if you search on the icon um in the instance here you would see icon this is the first one icon home and then uh, for uh, for this and it is a shade of black 
in here. Uh, yeah, this is black and this is 903 uh, shade of gray. So I want to keep this um, shades um, same and uh, consistent. So I'll use shade 900. Um, so in most cases, you find most people turning this into red, but um, I don't want to go for um, the arc um, for the primary color as the um, highlighted. I might like to change this red. I don't really like. Um, I don't really like. Me personally, don't just like designs where um, the selected uh, menu item is highlighted in a, in an accent color. So I'll come back to that, but let's keep going. So for sections, for transactions, rather, let's use for job for transactions, uh, receipt. I think they have an icon for that. Yeah. Payments. Mm -hmm. Payment, payment money, right? Uh, yeah, this is this sub accounts. Do they have any icons on accounts? Okay, they don't have an icons on accounts. Let's do bank. I think they are, should have bank. All right, yeah, they are bank. Save as you earn. Save as you earn. Uh, wallet. I want to use wallet for sub accounts. No, let me just use wallet. Yeah. Wallet, wallet, wallet. Mm, let's see. What should you use? So they are just wallet. That's fine. Invest coins could work with this. Uh, coins, coin stock. Awesome. Uh, refers you earn. Mm, mm, for refers, I'll just use coin again. Oh, there's coin swap. So this should, yeah, this should almost work for refers you earn. Um, so in this case, you can. Uh, Rain Icon has like an icon pack you could use. Um, in most cases, depending on whatever products are working on or projects, you could just switch your icon. Um, on the icons um, section, uh, yeah, this icons. Um, uh, in most cases, I've already used this before, so I'm a bit familiar with it. But for people who haven't spent some time with it, all right, and um, yeah, you would be good. Then yeah, let's go back to where we are designing. Uh, race against time. All right, so yeah, let's go to help on settings. So for help, let's use an info icon. I don't think they have any icon for help. So let's use info icon. Um, yeah, let's use the circle. Then for settings, they should have something on settings. Icon settings, awesome. Um, so yeah, I'll just yeah, I'll just leave the logo here. Um, I don't think yeah, there's any point changing that. So um, yeah, so this is set. Mm, then for my uh, so I would definitely come back to this now. This is not what I want to go for. Uh, yeah, I want something a bit more crips. Um, a bit subtle. This is subtle. This is fine. Or um, not for me, so let's take it apart. Uh, let's pull everything out. All right, uh, let's see this. Mm, let's get a frame. I have an idea. Uh, work with me. Uh, so, in most cases, this let's put this in auto layout. Do I do I really do? Do I really do I really do? Nah, nah, no, no opportunity to not yet. Uh, then for this, yeah, let's stretch it all to the edge. So yeah, just wall. Mm. Yeah, then we'll put this in auto layout. Um, uh, let's give this sixteen. Let's give this a feel. Um, gray. What do we? What do you have for me? Mm, let's see. So in most cases, you find most um, uh, what do you call it? Most dashboards, right? With white nav and then the bodies a feel, right? To the, to create some sense of hierarchy and differentiate it. Um, which is fine, right? But let's break from that limit a bit. Let's alternate. Uh, so let's do. Mm, 
What should we do? What should we do? Let's do. Let's make this. Let's leave this white. Right, shade white. Uh, so you set shade for this white. Let's change this instead to gray. Let's give it gray fifty. All right, a light shade of gray. Um, so okay, okay. Mm, not bad. Um, so yeah, I give this. Uh, I give this a. If someone's raising their hand. Sure, go ahead. Oh. Hello. So I wanted to ask if there's a reason we always have like neutral colors for dashboard backgrounds, like every time, every time, every time. What do you want to do? Are you designing for um, a creative project? So this is dashboard. Most in most cases, enterprise level projects, right? B two B, and the fact that it's B two B, right? You want to use colors and pastel colors that red. Right, uh, very light and easy on the eyes and quite friendly to see, right? So that they can elevate information, right? And create that sense of visual hierarchy for you to be able to easily navigate through the platform, right? So in most cases, whatever set of colors you're using, you always fall back to setting um, light shade of colors, right? So let's say um, you're using maybe um, this, for instance, this is fine, right? Mm -hmm. For some products, or it is a bit too much, right? And when you start placing information in here, you have to start adding another sense of extra layers. Uh, so um, let me put this on fixed it first. So when you start adding extra layers, you start realizing that oh, you would. So I don't know if you start if you see how this looks right now. Mm -hmm. let's, let's put this in here. So this is me trying to build my um, dashboard. So you realize now with this light shade of um of orange inside it's not it elevates the components but it is not easy on the eyes per se right and it doesn't exactly fit well right when trying to design a bunch of heavy data information right into a dashboard systems right so um yeah that's that's why we the industry standard is always to use light shades right of maybe gray very light shades of blue and Passive colors or some other shades that could, you know, work well. But yeah, that's that's all. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If anybody else has an opinion, they can feel free to share. Um, if maybe I didn't explain it well. Uh, all right. But in the meantime, pending anybody answering that, let me see. So I gave this a border radius of sixteen. Well, right now it's looking like I gave this one instead, so I think I know the problem. Um, so my background is oh, I also gave this a border. Okay, this came with a border radius, so let's take it out. Uh, that's why right. then, um, I want my background to be the same as the nav. Anyway, I'm supposed to search 50. All right, my border radius showing, um. Let's do something. Um, now we can put it in auto layout. Let's put this in auto layout. Um, all right, in auto layout. Let's see. Um, I gave this uh, vertical spacing padding. No, I want to create some sense of. Uh, all right, let's give this another. Let's put this in another frame. We'll give this an auto layout. Let's give this eight. Uh, let's give this eight as well. And uh, all right, all right. Um, you guys can see what I'm trying to do here. Right? Consider demarcation on this um, padding space um, around the entire dashboard view. Right. Let's uh, it's a UI nuances here and there. Uh, so now, mm, with this, let's create an elevation. So elevate the entire um, content section of the dashboard. Let's add some effects. Let's give this um, shadow. So there's a shadow, a subtool. That's why I like my signs. So um, let's let's add some stroke to it. Okay. Instead of me searching. Uh, so the background is um, a shade of. 50. Um, I want it to pop out. If I do 75, it wouldn't show. 
can see it's hard to find the great the stroke so let's do 100 okay okay 100 looks so now you guys can see the elevation right more much better um yeah uh, you guys can hear me so let's let's make it 200 let's let's try a bit let's push ourselves all right elevation is out properly uh let me go back a bit on see if i increase the shadow to pop out more it does go on huh. let's control z uh let's go back to 200 for now all right um sorry i just trying to do some <sighs> For the UI experts in here, you know why we're very particular about that Crips feeling. Um, all right, all right, what next, what next, what next? Um, I'll come back to navigation. So let's build this section. So I've done the nav, I've done the layer for the body. Um, let's start building the main content. So let's do this. Uh, so for now, let's bring this in here. Uh, let's do this field. Let's go back. All right. So you, you can see where I'm going with this bar. Uh, but that's not where I'm going, Char. So let's extend. Uh, so yeah, this is. Let's move the padding space. I want this to be on all edges. Um, then let's do. Let's do, this is 72 right now let's do let's do 32 in size and all right um so in in the random um dashboard you would have sorry in the fintech dashboard you have things like um hello this welcome or something right or a tagline so let's um let's do that so for this we add one more Let's change the spacing. Let's keep it up maybe four. Yeah, let's give it up four. Um, let's change the type for this from a heading type to a paragraph type. So let's search paragraph. Uh, let's do. Let's do let's do medium sixteen first. What do you guys think? Medium sixteen. I mean. Let's let's work with it first. So I'll come in. Um, let's see. Send, uh, save, and receive funds in various currencies. I got another spell currencies. Currencies. That's really well guess what to uh, I went to school, guys. All right. Um, not bad, but. Mm. Could be better. So let's reduce this. Uh, let's do what size is this? Here we. This is 14. No. Uh, let's do. Let's try the same thing. How does this look? In the same thing. Okay. Okay. Mm, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, maybe. Mm. Let's do 14 instead. Sorry, let's do 18 instead. Yeah. So I'm not a big fan of large elements uh, because I've been designing um, a lot of SaaS products and um, we, always play, we always have a bunch of information right in dashboards and you can be using a lot of large elements you have to be precise on how you use um your elements or components and your typographies right a lot um because you would have to maybe in just one particular section in a line up top you have to feel like three cuts or um, three different components right that requires different action sets right depending on whatever you're trying to accomplish um so for some people that their body's already biting them i just gave you my explanation yeah, so let's do 14. Um, someone is trying to say something. Or did someone drop a message? Yeah, yeah. yeah someone dropped a message. Let me read it for you. So, Samson is asking, what's the min minimum font size you could use for minimum. that? 
for dodgeball is 12 or 14, right? You only use 12 in very, 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 very um, um, certain cases, right? Um, but 14, right, is the lowest I'll go for. Um, I only use 12 when I need to do some, um, let's say for instance, um, I'm working on, um, you can see even on this matrix card, right, in here, 14 is the lowest sizing, yeah. All right, stick with 14 always as a lowest sizing. You only go um, 12 for instances like maybe setting labels that you don't want it too prominent. So like this, right, this was used as 14, and this is 12. All right, so 12 is the lowest you can go. Anything 10, nobody can see that shit, right? So um, this this is 14, I'm using 14 as, as the lowest. Then um, this is 18. All right, so I think this is good. So let's do this uh, move money. Uh, so this, let's add icons to this. Um, no leading, uh, there's a training. Uh, let's just send. Uh, let's this here, yeah, move money. Um, what else? What else? What else? Mm. Let's do. Let's add a drop down with that. Um, so I want to add a drop down for. Um, let's see. Mm, for maybe we need to access some certain things. Those like API docs, for instance. Yeah, let's do, let's add that. I designed one recently that had an API uh, for a, a fintech in Kenya. Mm. Um, call up with this. Um, oh no, they shouldn't be the same actually. Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, let's do seven, yes, yeah, 700. Um, yeah, that should be fine. Let me try six. Yeah, six is six is all right. Sub two. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. In this case, I need a uh, drop down. Uh, they define me accessibility, my guy. Someone should kick David off this call. Uh, so let's add this in here. Uh, give me a moment. Let me group this together. Um, What what's he uh this, this is disabled as I can default. Uh so Fubaru is asking what typeface are you using? I'm using the typeface that comes with right now, that's Inter. Uh, Like in uh, there's the API docs. Here we, uh, yes, let's keep it say. Uh, no, no, no fun. Take out the icon. Um, all right. Mm, I want this to be same size as this. Uh, let's increase the spacing. All right, they're yeah, good to go. Uh, they found out the spacing in between the buttons. I like to reduce that to eight. Uh, all right, mm, I want to add some elevation to my uh, give me some buttons. Uh, just sub to shadow right there. What was the border radius of this? It's eight. Um, it's, it's great. Um, all right. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, all right. So let's start designing more. So for this, what's hard? Stroke. So uh, uh, let's do 100. 
Let's keep it for the bottom only. No, uh, yeah, let's, let's do that subtle for now. Uh, is this all right? All right, that is fine. Uh, let's see. Mm, what else? Uh, all right, that's fine. Let's bring in our card components. Really, what I have in mind for this card? Sorry. Mm, let's see. Let's see. What do I have in mind for it? Uh, uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think I think I know what I want. Mm, let's see. What versions did they have? Uh, all right, all right, all right. Nope. Mm, let's take out the CT. That's a barge. Uh, do I do a barge? Uh, let's show it for this. See version two. All right, I think this, this works for me. All right, so. Um, I'm going to touch because it's not what I want to use. Huh? Is this is this, is this what I want? No, this is not what I want to use. Um, all right. So for this, I want something custom. Uh, let's see. Just around. I want this to be my. Um, I want this to be money. Uh, so this is, so I want this to be flag. I want this to represent a flag. Uh, it's the flag. Mm, yes. Let me use an avatar instead. Right? Wait, we have flags, sorry. Flags, yeah, yeah, we have flags, awesome. Um, US, United States, beautiful, beautiful. Mm. Let's reduce the sizing. Mm. No, let's leave it. Um, this is 14, and this is fine for me. Um, text, text, text. I don't want my, I don't want this status here. Uh, let's take it out. I have another idea for this. Screen. Uh, right, let's extend this. Let's bring this in here. Hmm. Just this. Uh, all right, let's make this medium size. I don't want to stick those. Um, what I want is to show an active state in outline. Uh, your success. I need to take so Collins, someone is asking, Eddie Negbera is asking, um, you noticed you made changes to a button instance that mm -hmm. you added a struggle. So he's asking, why didn't you make the change to the main component? Um, yeah, you can't do that if you, you can't actually, especially if you're like using right now UI to build multiple screens. I'm just building one. So um, for me, it's not necessary to have to start you know going there to have to do everything from the main default components does that make sense is it yeah i think that makes sense um so is it does that make sense you can unmute and speak it's actually free very free session okay you can go ahead yeah, that, so, makes that makes sense that makes sense but how does that affect um consistency in the long run if someone decides to use the same button, 
some places. Like I said, if you are building more things, right? The best cost to action would be to do that on the default component, right? The main component. Mm -hmm. the and then that way it can be applied across multiple screens. But in this case, since I'm just designing one screen, right? And I'm never I'm not going to come back to this. Nobody's going to use this. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and I'm running out of time, right? If I follow due process across board, we will likely not be out of this place because um, I can be a perfectionist. So not vex my boss. Great, thank you. Does, does that help in any way? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Makes sense. Uh, but yeah, so. Yes, when get... is, um, sorry. sorry. Yeah, let's, while you're designing, let's try to like have in mind that we'll do our icebreaker in the next 10 minutes. So that we can get everybody. Yeah, we can get everybody to it. We've had persons who are just watching, so we can just um do something that will make them talk and more lively. All right, sure. That would be great. Uh this six. Yeah. Mm, should I do regular or should I do medium? Mm, this is a regular. No, this is a medium. 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 Oh, so I think to this four. Uh, let's make this four as well. Um, and it's facing on the edge. Eight. All right. What do I want to do next? Give me more. I'm thinking. What do I want to do next? All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, I think for this, uh, mm, let's, let's reduce the size a bit. So, change four, yeah, this, uh, couple of thousand, then this can be out, um, to, the it's coming forty it's five five hundred process on this what goes on to do Simple. Yeah, balance. Um, I need to add an info icon in here somewhere. Info icon. It is sizing. Uh, it's fine by me. It's uh, yeah. All right. Uh, let's reduce the size of this. It's eight. Let's reduce this to eight. Uh, Let's put this in the center. Get to the circle. <laughs> Maybe do the on yeah. Um. All right. So for this, uh, what else? What else? What else? I want to do. Hmm. All right. Let's let's let me bring this in here. Let me see how this looks. Oh no, uh, this is, let me put this into a container instead for the stats. 
Dia macam tengok konten lah um, uh, Let's give it 16 Let's give this If you Let's do be 50 first Let's give this 16 uh, Yeah, let's bring this in here Mm. Um, all right, so let's put this into a what layout again. Let's stretch this out um, all the way to the end, and then let's do let's do text to up top, set it to below. Fair enough. Uh, all right, all right, all right. What else? What else? What else? What else? Mm, all right, let's add. I don't like how this looks. Let's, um, something's missing. Uh, is that a stroke to this? Mm, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, these cards, shut on these cards. It's too much. Let me reduce it a bit. All right, that's fair. Let's add, let's add some text to this. Uh, let's bring this in here. Mm-hmm. Not sure they have to. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I just want put out the other. I need for a you guys in call. All right, regardless. Um, okay, so yeah, moving forward, let's. Uh, yeah, so what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to build the um, the account on um, wallets cards, All right? So I have an idea in my head. I just want to give it a try and see what this will come out to be. Uh, so this can be accounts uh, or my accounts. Uh, uh, sorry, let me increase this a bit. Let me see how this looks like. Um, all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, let me put this together. Auto layout uh, this way. All right, all right. Let me add one more. Makes sense. I wouldn't want this to cut across to the end. Like this, uh, feels a bit cliche. So let's see. Let me put something in here or uh, oh, main balance. Yeah, main balance, main balance. Um, let's see. Hmm. Main balance. How would I do this? Uh, I need two sections. Uh, let's put this in. Let's put this in another frame. Can auto layout for later. Uh, let's create another auto layout uh, frame. 
uh, let's to make this this way so basically what i'm trying to do is this yeah so i'm trying to build in these four components right one two three four all right so instead of having the table this way all right so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to bring the table all the way here all right and then um have like this in one place probably have this um like this in here yeah that's basically what i'm trying to do uh do you guys get what, where i'm going with this all right so let's keep going uh let's let's keep this fixed with let's push this to the edge Let's extend this a bit uh, so there can be some room. Uh, three. So let's do the same thing um, over here. Well, in this case, we take our one. So we'll have one main balance, and then let's. Uh, this is too so extended, but you know, keep that. So let's bring this in here. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I can have more room for table information. Uh, this this should be bits. Let's give this size of four hundred. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Uh, I'm very fond of this. Um, size eight. This should be. Let's, let's use size uh, assistance for the spacing. All right. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, let's, let's go back to building my bank account. Oh, no, general information. General accounts. No, general balance. Yeah, this is a general balance. Uh, let's change this icon. Let's use. Uh, this is wallet. Um, oh no, we used bank force. Um, only now. Uh, then for this, let's use the wallet. All right, uh, I think this works. Now, then this can be. What do you call this one now? Mm, what do you call it? What do you call it? What do you call it? Some available balance. Yeah. Available. So this can be put off. What this? Mm, I want the mix icon. Uh, so let's change the uh, swap instance to mix uh, icon. Um, now we found the accent. So let's let's do green. Let's do white. Right. So I have to keep it consistent. Uh, what should you do? What should you do? What should you do? Mm, this is money. The, for the icon, uh, we have money. Uh, we'll move on. Let's see. I don't need these active states. Uh, so what else do I need? Hmm. Uh, well, let's, let's add a button in there. As you mean. Uh, but then that would be. Um, yeah, let's, let's add a button. Go ahead, um, whoever is raising their hand. All right, colleagues. Um, well done so far. Well done so far. So, um, I don't know how, how, um, how close you had to rounding up, but 
we would actually want to have like a very little break at this point so that we can also get to know our um our members on this call and get to like interact with them do you get all right let's just talk all right so um this is the point where i would bring to on stage my co-host for this session david so david would actually be anchoring the icebreaker session david are you there yes i'm here good evening everyone good evening good evening so yeah you can go ahead i would share my screen basically for the icebreaker while you go ahead and anchor it that's fine Let me know if you can see my screen now. Uh, yeah, let me stop presenting. Okay, I think that's why. My screen is frozen. So, um, David, you can just go ahead and read it out while I try to share my screen. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Hope we're having a good Friday. Um, yeah, this is just a short uh, icebreaker to ease everyone into the Design With Me session. So, I'll be asking a few questions. So my first question is, hello? My first question is, what was your favorite childhood movie? So if you have any, if you have an answer, just share your name, uh, tell us, uh, answer the question and tell us, like give us a little detail so like um we can see who relates to that hello does everyone is the only me that has a favorite childhood movie or am i am i supposed to answer or is no, anyone can answer anyone can go or oh, favorite child movie avatar last Airbender. Oh, that means you're anticipating the of course, bro. Netflix of, remake. Of course. I have watched every single um trailer. I have watched every single um YouTuber comment. Wow. Uh, giving their insights, giving their reaction videos. I am a diehard fan. Till I die. And I've rewatched that series like I think like from counting twelve times now in my entire life. So what do you have to say about Legend of Just don't go there? I <laughs> okay, yeah. I have a question for you, Collins. So yeah. you actually like Avatar, right? Yes, of um, course. There's this, there's this trailer that was was released this evening by Netflix. So yeah, there's a lot of mm-hmm. comments about it. So I want to know your own. Point is it, of view. What they don't they don't like the trailer? Like a whole lot of persons don't like it. They're like, if this is the best, then then it's just they're, there. They're, they're biased. See, do you know what you can even lose your mind. That's the honest truth, right? Wow. You can really yeah. never please humans. And see, they you can't have everything as perfect as the um, the animation would be, right? Or the animation is rather. There are a lot of things. Do you know what it means to, for instance, now they have to change the storyline in terms of like, oh, how do they um, navigate um, the Susan's comments, right? Because this first, you can't do book three with the same set of actors. These guys are growing and it, it takes like a year or two to shoot just one season. So why do I finish this one? Imagine they, they want to shoot season two and Avatar now, the Avatar, right? That you saw as a child is now 15 or 16 years old with beards. How do you reduce the child to look like it? How do you reduce the teenager to look like a child to act that same, um, you know, season? And if all of this happened is in what, in six months, right? Like, do you see how you cannot really please people? And the crazy thing is that most of these people talking, they have not read the comics. If you read the comics, you realize that these current characters are exactly as the comics depicted them to be, 
right? So what what do I know? These people are just they're way too much to please, honestly. But Netflix right now is going in the best direction that it can, and it's better than the previous movie, right? And I feel right now they're going to do justice to it. I just hope that they don't fall my hand. If not, people will beat me there. We have hyped up this thing. Well, that that's a very in-depth analysis of everything. <laughs> it's not every time you see people that are so grounded in stuff like this, you know, design, exactly. anime. That's crazy. Okay, that's awesome. So someone actually dropped a comment, Michael. So please, I would want you to unmute your mic and speak. So like, this is the point we want to hear your voice. You just unmute your mic, tell us your name, and then you speak. Samuel, you can go ahead as well. Okay, uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Samuel Alec. And uh, my favorite uh, child movie has to be Medallion by Jackie Chan. It's an old Ooh. movie. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think that the Chinese movie from top to bottom, like the entire of them, are my favorite movie because I can't even start counting them. Is it Drunken Master? Is it um, what's the name of that one that was so so? Like, I can't remember the name, but it's like an action movie where he had that guy as his police partner. I can't remember. The you want to talk? Um, Ross R. Ross R. Yes, Ross R. exactly. Yeah. Ross R. <laughs> Ross R. Those are easy. <laughs> Like Maybe you get the comic and get the action, all part. Yeah, yeah. I like the I like the comic around these movies as well. Yeah. So Kinsley, Onyeka Kinsley, please, boss, can you unmute and you know tell us your favorite movie? Ah, uh, hi everyone. Uh, me, I don't really get favorite to my, my. I'm just here to drag Collins because Collins said Avatar. I heard of Lord of the Rings. I mean, I mean, when we were kids, Lord of the Rings was like the shit. <laughs> we all loved it. I don't know what Collins is talking about. Avatar. Uh, Lord of the Rings, okay. Yes, Lord yeah, of the Rings, like that. I can mention, right? That outclass Lord of the Rings. Forget the chill, bro. What, what Lord no. of the Rings? Yes, is on his own. Le- is on his own level. But well, that cannot just be your favorite movie. Yeah, do you know many things that were that aired during our time as kids? You think it's all guy? You know, let me catch you for hours. I think I think Collins and Kingsley have a bromance, like <laughs> it's their thing. I swear, I had I had a lot of the rings there. I every time I came out from school, I was always watching it. Like I was just so stuck into that movie. I don't even know why. Ah no, 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 not about that. Not about that. I'll argue with God's head. We will not distract God. No way. I'm okay. Go. Okay, that's nice. So yeah, um, I don't know if you guys want to give more answers, but we'll be moving to the next question. So David, are you there? Yeah, that's I'm still here. I'm still here. All right. So I will share my screen for the second question. Okay. Yeah, you can read it out. Okay, so what is one item you can't live without? Like without that item you cannot go a day without without it. For me, I think it's um I think it's my laptop. I can't go a day without using my like it's not possible. It's not possible. I can't go a day without using my laptop. I have to go. Yes, it's like now I think about it, maybe probably for like the past ah, I've used my laptop for every day, like for the past. Yeah, not a day. Not a... Ah, for the for the past three four, three, four years, I've used my laptop every day. Wow. I don't think I've been a day without using my laptop. So I have to use my laptop every day. So yeah, everyone, please just um say one item you can't live without you can't live without right you must go must use that item every day like if that item does not exist you basically don't exist please you guys should not say figma because i know we all live on figma <laughs> please leave figma out of this anything but figma <laughs> My 
I'm not sure I heard some more clearly. Okay, can you hear me? I said it's my phone, my phone. I really can't hear you without my phone. Wow. That's really yeah. tough. Yeah. Yeah. There was actually um a day where I had to, instead of doing a normal fasting, like normal fasting, I had to break instead of food, I had to break do do a fasting with my without my phone. Like I, I was doing a prayer, some prayers, things of prayer. I had to like okay, instead of going without food because I, I had ulcer, I would have to fast for something else. So I had to do without the food. Yeah, <laughs> well, I think we we at some point we just have to do it. We have to take that bold decision to stay away from our phone at some point. It's not always easy. Some people can't even do it without it, like business, everything, you know, clients here and there, but just have to do it at some point for your own sanity at least once in a year maybe just stay whole day without a phone but for me i don't know when i'll do it though might not be now <laughs> my phone is my sanity <laughs> wow. all, right. all right so guys feel free to unmute and speak let's try to do this quickly 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 did kingsley want to say something i thought i heard him say something initially Oh yeah, I said I said um I I can't do it without my Wi-Fi. If it goes off, then what am I doing with my system on my phone? Wow. That means you're not in Nigeria because MTN will show you Shege even if your Wi-Fi is on. Yeah, ten, no, I... MTN, all of you. <laughs> even why it is on, man. <laughs> no, actually, actually, use Spectranet and then in my own place it doesn't really. It's not bad. Ah, God, when please do. We need to come to your place. We need to come to your place. All right, all right. So let's go to the last question for this icebreaker. This is nine twenty-seven. So by nine thirty, we will get back to the session. So David, go ahead. Okay. So um, the last question is: If you could eat only one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Well, for me, uh, it will be fried rice. White rice and stew, very clear. Thanks, every day. Thanks. Yeah, fried rice. Just change the soup. Just change the soup. Huh? <laughs> I say it's about for me, but just change the soup. <laughs> no, you, you have to pick one soup. <laughs> Oh, no, it's, not possible. <laughs> it's not possible now. The, this one, this one wants to use Thailand and do other things. Is this kind of person that Jenny will ask, please um, name two wishes? Be like the first wishes, I need five more wishes. <laughs> Keep on, I'll stick to it. Okay, it has to be native. It has to be native soup. It has to be native soup. Let me guess. It will see. Native, native soup, native soup. Uh, okay. So there are some persons on this page who have not heard their voice. Martha, Kayode, Manuel, Michael. Michael is always typing, but I've not heard his voice. Obey and me. So feel free to just unmute your mic and speak. We have one more minute before we get back to the session. This one is easy. It has to be jollof fries and chicken. Mm -hmm. Let me ask, is it Nigerian jollof or Ghana jollof? Which one? No more now, bro. There's no other jollof apart from Nigerian jollof. <laughs> no other one. I bet. Right. All right. All right. So, yeah. Well, well for me, always before me, I can't eat a particular food for the rest of my life because I don't know how really. Are you with me? <laughs> I just can't. We do it. I we now we need to do it. What did you say? Do it for Rina. I say you should do it for Rina. Rina will compel you I'm to do it. I'm a saint. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, okay, hey guys, uh, Michael here. Uh, okay, so based on this question, right, I think I'll choose fried rice. But it depends on the duration. I actually just love fried rice. I don't know. I still prefer it better than jello fries. I don't know why, but I still prefer it better than yeah. jello fries. Yeah, because it's really did they punish you five years? I don't know. Know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because then I go to the restaurant, I said, Okay, do you have fried rice? They said, Yes, we do. Hey, I just buy it. Like, they have jello fries, 
Uh, I don't really choose that. I prefer fried rice most of the time. Yeah, nobody likes white rice sauce. White rice sauce to you. I mean, I would nobody choose jello fries over white rice every time. I don't uh, like you. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> nobody likes rice and stew. Anyways, I like it. Don't mind them. I like rice and stew. 100%. Anytime, any day. Also. All right. Yeah, just... So, guys, thank you so much for, um, you know, participating in these icebreaker sessions. We have more of this. Every Rina series, we have more of this. So, we would actually be going back to the session so that Collins can round up and yeah, we call it a day. So Collins, please take over. Thank you, everyone. Hey, we I'm back. Wow. Yeah, you can see the screen now. That's wild. Your screen is not shit. Yeah, I'm about to share my screen. Okay. Uh, I see my screen. Yeah? yeah, I can. All right. So we were where we stopped. We were trying to build the uh, what do you call it? The balance, right? Um, component, the card component for balance. So I did the button, right? Last. So this can. Um, just some sense of visual hierarchy to place importance on the um on the card balance to show like oh this is like you know total balance um so in most times when i've gotten to this stage i like to like you know prototype and then see how this looks like right um and then just have a feel of it so i know that i'm, I'm not um, like it looks good visually um in that sense because um Ideally, when I design, I start over using um, grids. Sorry, not grids, um, those rulers. All right, so, so far, what do you guys think before I keep going? Uh, for a start, it's not, it's, not, it's not too bad, I think. Uh, if you guys have any feedback, you can drop them in the comments. Um, all right, so let me keep going with the idea I have in my head. Build. Um, all right, so yeah, let's let's keep going. Let's build this out. All right, so what's left? Uh, let's see. Um, all right, this has been done. Mm, I don't think there's anything left in here for me to do. Set from probably increase this to show more emphasis on this side of the screen. So this is your total balance um, where you find information and um, on like you know your total available balance and how much that comes out from it in terms of like payout balance. And you can move money and you can also move money here. So this is withdraw money. This should probably be a drop down instead of. Um, Send uh, so let's use with Chevron, um, Chevron down to be a big drop down. So, like, either move money, send, redraw, transfer, um, or move money in between accounts, right? And then this would be like the primary um, call to action. So, in most cases, right now we are having two primary call to actions on the screen, right? Which is not ideal, right? Um, so we, it's always better to just have one. So, um, am I likely maybe, um, uh, what's the word? Um, change this or that, any of the two to um, a what do you call it? Um, what do you call that button? Yeah, a secondary button. Um, but in this case, I am coming back to this. Um, so let's leave that for now. Let's build out the rest screens. We'll touch up UI later. Um, so what else? What else? What else? Let's build this was the wireframe. And this was the hyperdata wireframe com using the components to drag and drop to get a sense. So we're trying to build this set. Uh, so I've done this set. Um, let's build this component set. So in this case, what I want to have is like, um, mm, 
Mm, what I want to have is something like this. For uh, let's go into our funds. Uh, so this is for like investments, right? Into funds. Uh, I need to touch this first. I need a loader. Um, progress bar, rather. So pick out the progress bar from the side. Drag and drop in here yeah, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere around. Right. Um, okay, let me. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Let's see. Uh, something similar to this, but that's what I'm going for. Uh, let's try something. So push this down. Oh shit. Um, uh, this is yeah. What's the layout? Uh, so let's let's take this out first, so that I can see rude. Uh, this should be like. I uh, mean, wrap invest. So this is like invest for. So I'll be changing this icon to coins. Coin stock icons for now. Um, then let's let's try. Uh, no, let's make this. Mm. Yes, yeah, in this overview, so mm. uh, that's way too much. So I probably, probably should take out. Yes, uh, let me just yeah, let me take this out for now first. I want to see how this looks like without it. Uh, let's get this for mm, not a fun, not a fun. For uh, it looks a bit cleaner and less distracting compared to the previous one. Uh, I don't like the size of this. Like the box inside, uh, let's reduce to empty touch first. Same distance four. I don't want to change the size of the icon inside, so let's adjust the icons. Uh, let's have two different colors, so maybe they the same. Yeah, um, let's put this in component um, auto layout rather. Let's increase the size and so maybe it's in. Uh, all right, I'll probably have to do the other ones like this, but let's keep going first. Uh, cool, should be loud in our components. Uh, let's see, this should be mutual funds. Uh, yeah, I want to take this out. But I need another section first. I need it, um, this description underneath it. So let's change the layout with this from the horizontal to vertical. Hey, I think I already did that. Let's take this out. Um, yes, let's take that out first. Oh, shit. No, I think I need it. I know I will use that. Is that... Um, yeah, I know I will use that. Uh, 
uh, let me just vertical. Uh, let's increase the size to maybe two. Oh shit! I can increase the size on the components, right? Yeah, that's two. Uh, I'm coming on. This is not the final. So, permit me. Let me play around a bit. So, let's see, this is monthly um, income. Let's keep this regular first. Ah. Mm. Nah. Let's make this semi bold. Uh, let's increase this to 16. Let me make sure there's consistency across, you know, so that's what's in it. And this, this is top. Yeah, that's fair. For now, uh, for now, for now, for now. Then let's bring in the, uh, the progress bar. If you bring the progress bar in, you should have, uh, yeah, show up this. Then feel. Uh, let's make this stretch out completely. Uh, then let's take this out. Mm, should we? Should we? Should we? Should we? Should we take it out? Should we take it out? Yeah, let's take it out. Um. All right. So let's put some progress to it. Let's see. Uh, what do we give this? Let's give this sixty. Um. What should you call it? Let me resize this to here. Make sure it's not bleeding out. Uh, this is 32. That's a lot. That's 24 in spacing. Uh, let's use this as our, as our money. Let's say four zero zero um, thousand dollars in this tenable era. That's a lot of money. Uh, Let's make this bold. Yeah. <laughs> when I did laugh. I said, it's a little money, man. And, um, let's give this um, 200K as goal. Uh, let's reduce this to uh, regular. Then we leave this as semi bold. Um, Ideally, we should reduce this to, to create some hierarchy. Let me try putting this in 12 first. Let me reduce the size in. Then um, let's take out the label. Uh, turn up the label. Keep this on. Let's reduce the size in um, the font width in the percentage just keep this as medium um let's increase the size of uh, semi bold let's maybe make it um 16. uh all right all right all right back to this Um, let's, let's see, let's duplicate, let's see how this looks. Uh, let's see. No bad, no bad, but um, not exactly what I was going for to. Um, so let's do something. We already have um, an idea. We already have an idea of the UI and what I'm trying to build. Let me take out these things first. Um, so this is the UI. Um, so now I'm no longer liking the gray or the feel. So I'm going to take it out. Let's keep it clean. Uh, let's do white. Yeah, let's do white all of them first. I want to see something. Um, all right. In that case, inside emphasis on the cards themselves. Um, okay, to do that, let's add a little bit of um, 
some little bedazzle to the UI. Let's change this to maybe 90, and this could be um, 30. Um, I don't like the size, it's quite large. So this is small. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, I see. What else? What else? What am I missing? Let's make this sixteen. Um. All right. So I'll make this a bit on play around. Uh, so I'm detaching the color in this, and I'll use the gradients. Uh, let's play around. Mm, let's play around the C. Let's call the next seven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'm what I want to do here. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. What else do? Let's do F8, F8, and uh, yeah, so do directly. Mm. Yeah, uh, and include the shade of white instead. Uh, let's go back to the, this, yeah, this, uh, this. Mm. Mm. Give me what I want. Sorry, I'm just playing around. Though. Um, little bit of uh, what's the word? Um, UI madness going on in my head. I'm trying to make sure I am doing the right thing. Mm. Let me do that across. Let me see how this looks like. Uh, sorry. Uh. Mm -mm. Not fun. Yet. Yet. Not fun. Uh. Not fun yet. Uh, for this, let's try. Shade of blue. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, let's try. Mm. Let's see. Mm. Um, so I'm playing around with you. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, not too so far off. Uh, that's two one seven, that's two one two. Okay, okay. Um, just try to play with the shade of light. Um, light tone. 
um, on it instead of using a plain gray uh, just to see how it would look. Let me add a few to this. All right. All right. Then, uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me increase this. Uh, all right, let's make this balance. Uh, mm. Mm. Sure, give me a moment. Let me increase. Let me try this out a bit. Uh, all right, all right. All right. All right. Uh, let me copy and paste this. So now to do this all over again. And paste properties. She is bastard. So you didn't paste me. You didn't paste. Sorry. Oh, I copied the wrong one. Um. Uh, what do I have? Totally out of this thing. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that was the outer. Uh, yes, it doesn't make sense. I don't have to actually. I don't start. I do rush. All right. Uh, all right. So we did it. Not the best. Um, later on, I took it. I was trying to give you glossy, um, slight play on the shadow. I'm sorry, on the linear um, color field for the cards to elevate the cards a bit. Um, and then for this one, let me do, let me, let me try dark, the dark thing for the balance. Uh, Permit me to try dark thing for the balance and see what it could look like. Just to put some um uh, instead of gray, let's try the blue. Uh where is it? Yeah, let's try this color instead. Okay, now let's go to this one. Whereas um just two, it's it might not come out the way you want it, but just just give me a moment. I am on my way. Let me see. So this is basically just how it, it works for me, how I think things through. Um, just play around to I figure things out. So ideally, um, there's no good thing to just spend so much time with picking the UI to get that perfect UI, right? You always want to like have like the rest component set out. Right now, I'm supposed to have done my table. I will. Um, I just want to map thoughts in my head before it fades out. Um, so that's why um, let's keep this 100 and then a lighter shade of gray for this 300. Uh, hope accessibility does not kick contrast checker doesn't kick my ass. Um, but yeah, then for this, uh, let's keep this. Turn it as well, not to put so much emphasis on that. Ideally, this shouldn't be white. Uh, let's get another color. Is it blue? Let's see, a lighter shade. Uh, guys, call this thing again. A uh, secondary, right now, secondary color. Uh, now let's make this 800. Let's make this seven. Let's give the icon inside uh, a light shade. Uh, just me messing around to see what could come out from it. Uh, All right, uh, let's see what else can be done. 
Copy and paste this in here. Uh, should to touch this first to give you what I want to achieve. Let's uh, read this, this to four. Uh, same thing here. Uh, to touch. And paste properties sizing. Don't put too much emphasis on the labels. Uh, and then 16, 16. Uh, still like 30 minutes to wrap this thing up. Let's add size into this. Let's give this thing to four because it's the same size as this. Six, four. Um, ideally, uh, I should put some. Oh, yeah, shit, this is not it's like the same colors for all of them. Well, most is just now it's 600. This will be 600 as well. Uh, 600 ultra or shades of the colors should be same shade for consistency. Uh, or my borders, I'm not feeling them. Let me increase them to 200. Let me see. Okay, they're popping out a bit more. This seems white background, so I want to make sure that the elements are popping out. Um, let me add a shot it to this. So shot it to the big tits. Um, ideally, you should seek the shadows because most times shadows don't, don't always the best when they come with me. Um, so you have to check it to basically fit what you're designing for. Um, yeah, it's just uh, me playing around, personal preference. So you just see how it looks like. Um, not the best. In most cases, I would have made maybe this entire component dark background, but I just wanted to make this uh, into this to see what it looks like. Um, let's, add, let's add a button to this somewhere. Uh, Um, let's change the button to uh, secondary color. Uh, sorry, gray button. Let's make this outlined. Uh, let's add shot it to it. Let's, let me take out the shadows in here first. Let me see on this card component. Mm. Mm. <sighs> all right, uh, this should probably be, be you all. Um, in most cases, I think it's best I just put it if you all in here. Should I? Should I? Should I? Okay, so, I'm proud of you. I can try that instead. Uh, put this in frame, extend to the edge, put the layout, paste, reduce sizing, reduce the size gyre, don't stress me. Why are you not functioning? Totally, I don't start over, not my fault. Sorry. Uh, reduce. So, uh, I need to reduce the text component to 12. Uh, should I use 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 
Let's detach this copy. Sorry, this typography and truncate. Good. Take a difference. Uh, 12. Uh, then. Um, nope. Let's make this um, a text. Let's take out this and keep it this way. Um, all right, all right, all right. That's the case. Let's make this 14 instead. All right. Uh, let me try this instead. All right. Uh, now that's settled, let's do this maybe be. Uh, Mm. What should it be? What should it be? What should it be? Um, maybe investments on insurance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's already investment. Uh, real estate. Oh, there's the R E I C Fs. Um, this could be insurance, I guess. Um, or bonds. Let's make it bonds. Investments. Uh, yeah, this quarterly, uh, yearly, and that coming monthly. Uh, can change figures with our mm, no, tables. Uh, what's the time? Uh, I have a few minutes left. So ideally, I'll start building my tables. So, uh, probably. Um uh, contents, drag the leading, drag the other, uh generation way a bit different. Uh, so yeah, but you guys can see how we went from wireframes to this, and then we are now here, right? So um yeah, so ideally I would take this table and tweak it to what I want um, to save time. But uh, I think I should probably build the table from scratch so that people could also get an idea of it, I guess, uh, for those who struggle with building tables um, with components um, in design systems. So it's as easy as making this into um, a frame, auto layouts. Uh, this is your... Um, what do you call it? It's the headers you use, right? For the table, so it's by the data sets. So you just like um, do this. Yeah, I'll probably take out this. Identify where you're designing for. So I'm designing for an overview dashboard. There's no, there's likely no chance they need to have a checklist. So I'll take out the icon, um, which helps to sort data information. I'll take that out and then take out the label to, oh no, no label, no. Take out the checkbox. What is wrong with this guy? Okay, I take out checkbox and keep the label. Um, so yeah, then this this is good. Uh, then let me build the table data. So this is for leading, then this is for content. So we put this into a frame. Let me just do this. Yeah, it's a table. Put these two in, so not only out frame. Uh, voila, a bit of table. I duplicate, I add some, uh, what do you call it? Add some border radius, a bit of table. Um, so for this shade of white, you change the color to maybe different shade in gray. And yeah, you have your table. So now all you have to do is now tailor it to fit what you want. So in this case, let's go do that. 
so I'm just going to duplicate this. Oh no, sorry. I'm just going to duplicate this. Uh, give this a space on the four. Take my table. Uh, and then paste it in here. So and then delete that. Maybe call this recent transactions. All right. Uh, size of these icons are quite small. Uh, yeah, I'll fix that later. Uh, so yeah, this. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Adjust this horizontally to fill. Adjust the table itself to fill container. This to fill container. Adjust each one to fill as well. Uh, so everything fusing. Adjust each one of the table to fill. So this information flows. Then, um, so in this case, I'll just start with one. Uh, what do you want to do? Let's do date type, double transaction, description, dates, double transaction. Is, uh, um, uh, no, that's not the case. Let's not do that. Let's do Ben. Should I call it Benny Park or uh, let's do to and from? Yeah, then this might be amount. Uh, this can't be status. This can't be um uh, type of transaction. Let's add one more. This can be uh, uh, this can be, uh, can be actions. So take it with label. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six. It wants our equivalent of that six. So that's six table sets. So for the leading, I don't want any control. Um, I don't want a description. I just want to put dates. Oh, so in this case, my leading needs to be under the toe because I want to add an avatar image in here. So this will likely turn to an avatar instead of a mix icon. Uh, with, I think I can leave it, um, I can leave this and uh, change the icon to our um our up syndicates um well, let's put mm. Mm. what am i what thinking is then actually uh yeah yeah this is fine let's change this circle it's a square let's make it round let's add some color to it it's white, so there's the success. Ideally, I like this type of icon to be similar to the. Uh, let's just leave it. And this can be um, a name like Obaga John. Uh, this will be the date. So take out the avatar, take out the supporting text, which is a description. I'll just maybe put this in there as a date. Um, 12 um, of February 24. Um, can do 20 hours, minutes, and seconds. Mm. Maybe too much information. They don't need that. Let's do hour and minutes. All right. Um, Gaga John said amount. Do the same thing. Take out supporting text. Take out the avatar. 
and this can be 23k dollars um what else uh, And this can be, yeah, amount, the status, change the changes to badge, um, yeah, for badge, let's have this status badge as accents, <laughs> oh, yes, let's leave it at accents, and let's do, Success with this, and this can be completed. And um, type as the supporting text that is not doesn't matter. So this can be um, deposits, right? Um, and then take out the avatar. And this can be action. So switch the components on action. Component actions. And then uh, we take this out. Hey, we, where did David drop my actions? Come here, let me see you. Uh, Oh, what is it? Knowing, uh, switch. Uh, there's a mix icon, let's do uh, crop. There's a square. I just not just in. Sorry, I'm out. I think there's an error here. I'm not figuring it out. So let me detach. Oh, I'll just use button. It's interesting. I love time. Uh, so the outline, yeah, that's what I needed. Uh, it's a small text six. Let's make it a bit smaller. Two comments. Don't need that much energy right now. Bit of text two. Uh, let's move this in here, let's make it hug, and this as well, let's make this hug, you know, this guy's put a lot of energy into this, um, let's make this, Yep, uh, this way, I think I have what I need. Um, let's make this up. So, it's crazy how people are still here by this time. These guys are dedicated. Uh, then this, sorry, there's just a lot of layers on top of the table. Um, just trying to navigate. And uh, let's reduce the size no time or for six. Yeah, let's keep it this way, let's keep information in here. Um, 
So it's eight C. Uh, skip the energy. It's how much just the table to fit the so there can be some alignment. It's not the best approach to it, but I'm just trying to cut it quickly so that we can wrap up because so I just have 15 minutes left. Uh, this is one four six. One four six as well. Uh, it's just ninety nine size. And uh, then this is one fifty size. One four six. And yeah, this is good to go. So I'll go ahead and duplicate and delete the rest. Uh, if I do that, make sure this is stretched to the edge. And this can uh, be 16 minutes. Push it out. Um, so in this case, I don't want to use the order. I want to keep it out. Um, yeah, let me, let me keep it out. Yeah, yeah, let me keep it out. Um, then I keep this. Oh, crap. <clears throat> One more. I'm going to about start. I don't have since. Gonna rig. Because of right now, you are. Hope you people are paying for this thing that I'm doing. Let's... Do I get any compensation? She got away. <laughs> and I love. So they don't use me catch free. They don't chop my. They don't got away. This is what. This is what. I will go meet the Rena mommy of this thing. So each of these cells have separators, so you can just easily turn them on. Uh, sorry. Anyway, this one has, I touched it, so. Just turn on this. Yeah, that's it. So I like turn on the rest. That's the other component in there. Okay, let me turn on this thing now, you're annoying. Uh, turning separate off for everything, and then I just duplicate the rest. Delete this one's in turn on. Are you people okay? Turn on, Jared. All right, all right, it's working. Uh, then I can go ahead and maybe do some variation. Yeah, don't I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Um, this can be pending. You can switch the mix icon in here to one in as well, and then we can switch the arrow down. Uh, yeah, arrow down. And then, um, yeah. Then it just duplicates. Uh, So ideally, I don't have time to what's the word uh, to improve the table because I would not go for this. I'll probably improve it a bit to be a bit more non-traditional table. Uh, well, yeah, it is what it is actually for now. Uh, it's no time, but. Uh, I think let me see. I think that sorts that sorts itself out. So there are a bunch of things I will need to imp I will need to improve on, right? Um, a bunch of things exactly that needs um, improvement. I'm going to continue with the UI, 
but um, I wouldn't right now because there's no time. So, for instance, like icons, making sure that all the colors are same and consistent. Um, reworking on the nav because um, yeah, that nav is not what I have in my mind, right? And a few things I need to change. Uh, so yeah, there's no time. So what ten more minutes? I'm just gonna leave it for uh, questions. Oh yeah, now nah, let me just change this thing. I think go big here. This this thing's changing. Uh, let's see. Let's move this white. It's too gray. Six hundred. Uh, Yeah, so sorry, let's make this so no uh is it eight yeah let's take out this search for now uh let's have let's touch this first oh no sorry my um power went off all right i'm back I just try. All right, separator is on. Let's touch this. Let's add. Uh, yeah, let's add that's it. And um, yeah, we have our UI. And then uh, let's duplicate it and take it out from all the mess. And uh, we are done. Very awesome. Let's put him. Let's put our hands together for Collins for this wonderful work he has done. And I said, this is really, really amazing. Like how you took everything from those black and white, black and white, now to this. It's really amazing. Really Not good. Amazing. Not good. <laughs> he's he's Not right. oh, Properly. And then you know this problem. Oh, it's my point. I don't know. If, I don't yeah, know but if, that's the UI. Yeah. So I don't know if anyone is thinking like me, but I would actually want to ask. I want to ask if it's, if there's a way we can lay our hands on this file. Maybe we could just look at it for our own consumption. Is anyone oh, thinking? Yeah. Um, right. It goes uh, Type heading. What did they do this? Right. So Tinibu is messing with me. Mm -hmm. like power keeps. You can um you can see the effect on the screen. So sorry. Uh. So yeah. Any questions? Feedback. Comments. Yeah. Bring in the questions if you have any. So I don't know if you. <clears throat> If you look through the comments, so Michael asked, I think, a couple of minutes. Oh, yeah, is yeah. It status and type heading needs to be interchanged. Yeah, I just thank you for pointing that out. Okay. I appreciate. Yeah, Michael, top one, he's been with us from the very first minute up till now. I really oh. appreciate it. And every other person who has been on this call. Godson, Akimba, Yo, Jason, David, Michael, Shadipo, Upeyami, Philo, Samuel, and then the awesome Hanifa from Revision Team, Collins, and myself. So big ups to everyone. Big ups to everyone. So I think we're actually rounding up right now. In as much as Collins is still, is still trying to be the perfect. Perfection is that I know he is <laughs> trying to catch up the day. I think it's not that bad. Right. It's actually nice. It's nice. So um let's kind of do a recap of Rena UI design with me. So today we've been able to design this dashboard with Rena UI. And I'm sure that you all are as wild as I am because I I didn't expect this, honestly. I was actually like overwhelmed, like, wow. So Rina, you can actually do this. Yeah, actually kidding. I know Rina can do this and more. So 
that's what we've been able to do today and this session is actually a bi-weekly session and by this i mean we host such thing every two weeks so the next one would be next two weeks friday so it's something that is actually frequent i don't know if any of you were here in the first and second episodes but trust me it keeps getting better and better and better and you would actually want to stay with us because Rena UI has a lot in store for for everyone especially designers like designers um product managers development in like we have a lot for you guys so just stay with us and keep building with us use Rena for your designs and see how awesome that your design can be with Rena once more we really appreciate Collins for for his time this is this is actually very very this means a lot to us it means a whole lot thank you so so much so everyone let's put our hands together for Collins let's put our hands together for him we've, we've learned a whole lot this is actually raw knowledge like very raw knowledge and value actually so Collins are you done oh yeah, yeah I am now All right. I am for now <laughs> for now okay so i don't know would you share the link to the page or would you want to like push it to a different file and share yeah i'll actually send it via email to everyone so oh, okay. you don't have to worry about that i mean those on the call you don't have to worry about it all right that's fine i would share with you so you can share with the team you can share with awesome. everybody yeah awesome then all i right, also all right thank you guys for having me i appreciate you all for coming it has been in as in a comrade um i look forward to next time hopefully we get to do this again yeah do have a wonderful weekend everyone all right see you